Hi all. So in this video we are going to see about the functions of by. So this has been asked in uh, many university questions as functions of by or even as functions of by solves. So we will see both in this video. So first we will see what is a function of by solves. So the most important function of the bile salt is the digestion of fats. So bile salts emulsify fat drops which aids in their digestion. So what is meant by this emulsifying and all? We will see. See you know that bile salts are basically salts of bile acids. So they have got two parts. One is a negatively charged water soluble part and the other one is a lipid soluble portion. So our dietary fat or the fat that has to be digested is usually in the form of a large fat globule. Now this has to be in order for the enzymes to act on this fat globule and digest it, it has to be broken down because our enzymes are water soluble. So if the enzymes just act on the surface of this large fat globule, it is not going to be digested easily. right? So for that we need to break this fat globule into many small uh, small small globules okay so this part is mainly done by the mixing action of our gastrointestinal tract and it is stabilized by these bile salts so what happens is when there is an agitation these fat globules might break up into small parts that will be quickly stabilized by these bile salts okay so what happens this large fat globule will now be made into small fat globules and it will be stabilized by the bile salts. So this is how the bile salts will help in emulsification. So this process is called emulsification because a lipid emulsion is being created. Okay. So basically the bile salts will help in breaking down of fat globules into small uh, fat globules and it will stabilize it just like a deter detergent will do. Okay. So Emulsification of fat is the breaking of large fat drops into smaller droplets and their stabilization is caused by bile salts because of their power of lowering the surface tension. Because how does it lower the surface tension? Because on the in inner part, this part, the lipid soluble part of the bile salts will be facing the inner part while the water soluble will be facing the outer part. Okay, So that is how it is able to stabilize these small fat droplets. Now the next function of bile salts is absorption so how does bile salt help in absorption of fat and fat soluble vitamins so this is by the mechanism called micelle formation what is micelle formation see we said that the small that we have small fat uh, droplets produced after emulsification so the main content of these fat droplets are triglycerides now these triglycerides when they are acted upon by the lipases they are digested to form the digestion products of fat which are diglycerides, monoglycerides and free fatty acids. So now our next step is we have to absorb these products of digestion across our brush border epithelium. But here again we have got a problem that it has to be transported and it has to cross this brush border epithelium. So here also we need the help of bile salts. So what bile salts does is they form a complex or what if they form a water soluble complex with these products of digestion and this in turn is stabilized by our phospholipids also. So see these structures or these complexes which contains the products of digestion and bile salts in phospholipids are called micelle. So like that they will produce a normal, numerous micelles and this in turn will can easily be absorbed across this brush border epithelium. So that is called micelle formation. So see, bile salts combine with the products of uh, hydrolysis of triglycerides to form water-soluble cylindrical disc-shaped particles called micelle, which are transported to the brush border of the epithelial cells for absorption. So this is meant by micelle formation. That is how bile salts help in absorption of fat and fat-soluble vitamins. The next function of bile salts is that it acts as a laxative. How? Because it increases the gastrointestinal motility. So there'll, it, uh, the, there'll be easier laxative action. The next important action is that the bile salt will stimulate the liver to secrete bile, and that is that action is called choleritic action. So another important function of bile salts is to increase the secretion of bile, which is called choleritic action. Bile salts also help in prevention of gallstone formation. How? 
because bile salts keep the cholesterol and lecithin in solution so that there will not be any nucleus or needles for formation of stones or gall stones. Now other functions of bile other than the functions of bile salts include the functions of the bile pigment. We know that bile contains bile pigment also other than bile salts. So these bile pigments they are a major excretory products which help in excretion of heavy metals, toxin, bacteria, cholesterol, lecithin and alkaline phosphatase. So the bile also has got an excretory function. Now it has got a protective function. How? Because bile acts as a natural detergent inhibiting the growth of certain bacteria in the intestine. And it also helps in pH regulation because the bile you know it's an alkaline fluid. So bile's alkalinity can neutralize the gastric acid maintaining the optimum pH for digestive enzyme action. And finally we know we've got also mucus also in the bile. So this mucin lubricates the chyme in the intestine. So these are the other functions of bile other than the functions of bile sauce. So to summarize the functions of uh, bile or if, if a question like functions of bile is asked you can write about the functions of bile salts as well as the other functions. The functions of bile salts include digestion of fats in which you can talk about the emulsification then absorption of fat in which you can talk about the missile formation and draw a diagram of that laxative action choleritic action prevention of gallstone formation. So these are the functions of bile salts and you've got other functions like excretion protective action pH regulation and lubrication. So that will complete the uh, functions of bile salts. Finish your answer with an applied aspect which is cholelithiasis. So we said that there are many factors which will help in prevention of gallstone formation but in case there are there is stasis or if there is a nidus or if there is an infection there can be presence of gallstones which is called cholelithiasis. It is caused by bile stasis supersaturation of bile with cholesterol and nucleation factors that favors formation of stones. You can that is that is just a finishing point or an applied aspect of this functions of bile. So I hope this concept is clear. Thank you.